Welcome to Monet Cafe. I am very happy to bring you this tutorial on painting a duckling in soft pastel on unsanded paper. Yes, it can be done. And if you haven't joined the Monet Cafe family here on YouTube, I hope you'll subscribe. Now, this lesson was really to prove and answer a lot of questions people have had about soft pastel painting on unsanded surfaces. I know we talk a lot about sanded surfaces with pastel painting, but we really can accomplish a lot on these unsanded surfaces. And they're a lot less expensive, which is really good for starting out for beginners. Now, just so you know, the full real-time version of this tutorial, it will be in parts because it was a longer painting with so much detail, but the full version with more commentary will be on my Patreon page. But don't worry, Monet Cafe, you'll get plenty of content here. So I'm a little partial to the content of this subject matter of this painting. Prior to the flooding of our home, I'm sharing this here in part one, we had a beautiful pond in our backyard and I used to love raising baby ducklings. This is a picture of one of my ducks. And we like to raise them and then give them their first swim in our pool from the protection of the pool screen. Then we would release them to our pond. These were Indian runner ducks. I love them so much. My husband even built this beautiful duck house for them floating on our pond. And my dog Jackson had a special fun relationship with one of our ducks, even though I think the duck was just running Jackson off they still had fun so you know again this was prior to the flooding of our home i haven't talked about this in a while but it was a really traumatic event in our lives and now we live sort of in a temporary situation where i can't have ducks yet but maybe one day all right just so you know the duck sketch i have just started something it's a site called coffee ko-fi.com how appropriate right for monet cafe coffee and this site is cool because it allows you to support this channel, give a little tip if you would like, and also for me to provide some extras like sketches, as in this case, where you could purchase this little ducky sketch, not the original photo like it's showing here, or the original painting, but this particular sketch for $2. So if you'd like the sketch to start out with rather than sketching it yourself, then you can purchase it here. Now I'm going to show you a quick and easy little transfer method if you decide to purchase the sketch and print it out as I have done here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this image to my pastel paper. Now whatever surface you're using, this is what you're going to transfer it to. So how are we going to do that? Basically you'll need something like a charcoal pencil or some sort of medium that will transfer. We're going to flip the image over and trace the back side of this drawing or sketch. Now it's a little hard to see, right? So here's a tip. Put the sketch, tape it to a window where there's some nice outdoor lighting. And when you do that on the opposite side, you can really see the image so much better to be able to use the charcoal to outline the sketch. Now I'm gonna speed this up real quick and I didn't do a great job at this because I had to really lean over my table here, but you get the idea. And once your sketch outline is complete, once again, you'll use whatever pastel surface you're going to be working on. I don't want to waste another piece of pastel paper, so I'm just going to do it on a piece of white paper. You'll probably be able to see it a little bit better anyway. So you put your pastel surface down, then you take your image where you've already sketched the back side. We're going to lay it out, just line it up where you want it, put a piece of tape on it. Now you could use the back side of your charcoal pencil, anything where you can kind of burnish or rub the outline or see how it comes out it, it works or you could use some other flat edge this is actually a burnishing tool that came with some mounting paper my dog chewed it up but you could use a credit card anything with a rigid surface and this works a bit faster but I didn't take much time with this and you see how you get a nice transferred image once again this is not to take you away from learning how to draw but it is kind of a neat and fast easy way to transfer an image if you just want to get to painting all right let's go over these supplies and then finally we're going to get to painting this cute little ducky. As you saw before, I used the Canson Mitants Gray Tones paper, and you can buy this in sheets or in pads. I have a Canson Mitants 9 by 12 gray tone pad that you can see on the dickblick.com site here. It was like around $9. I'm also using the Sennelier half stick set of 40. I love Sennelier pastels. Now this is a really good quality pastel. Sennelier makes an awesome soft pastel. 
So don't be alarmed at the price of like almost $63 for these 40 half sticks. They are so worth it. But in the video, I'll be showing the individual pastels. And fortunately, on the Dick Blick site, I'll have links to all these products in the description of this video. You can most likely kind of look at the pastels I'm using and maybe just pick and choose the ones you want because you can go on the Dick Blick site and look at all of the colors from this 40 set and maybe just choose a few that you need. You might already have some colors that you can use. I'm always trying to save you guys money. All right, so I'm speeding up the sketch. This is not a drawing tutorial in this particular video. So I want you guys to get right to painting and that's why I'm providing the $2 sketch on my coffee site if you'd like that to kind of jumpstart your painting process. However, I always recommend get good at sketching. For the sketch, I used a little piece of willow charcoal. You can kind of see it in my hand there. Willow charcoal is awesome because it's kind of the same consistency as pastels. It's not the same as using a pencil probably wouldn't even show up on this gray tones paper. So once you get your sketch in, you're ready to get started. I love the fact that I used one set of pastels. You will see how I get some fine details later with two other products. Some Prismacolor new pastels. They're a little bit harder pastels to get some of the little wispy feathers. And I also used some pastel pencils. I think just one to get more details in the eye of the little ducky. That was kind of um, a little bit of fine detail there. So now at this point in part one of this duckling tutorial, I will be providing Monet Cafe with a little bit of a speed version. Not much. I never like to speed it up so much that you can't follow with some music and some captions that will give you more instruction while I paint. Once again, my patrons on my Patreon page get the full real-time version with lots of commentary, but you can learn a lot just from this video on Monet Cafe. And now it's time to add pastel and remember to stay tuned for part two. I have divided this up because the painting was a little longer due to the detail. All right, guys, enjoy to the music and I'll be back at the end.
Okay, so we're nearing the end of part one. And again, I apologize, my hand's on the way here, but I'm really just filling in the dark area of the eye. And then I'll use some pastel pencils to get the finer details. Actually, I just used one pastel pencil. The first, that's a charcoal pencil. I decided not to use that, but I used this pastel pencil. It's really a dark, dark purple. And I do have links to all of this in the description of the video. This is an excellent pencil sharpener for pastels. It's Mobius and Rupert Brass Round Double Hole Sharpener. You got two sides to sharpen with. So this concludes part one. I will get back to the eye when we get into part two. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel, come back often, and I can't wait to bring part two to you as well. All right, guys, happy painting, and I'm looking forward to getting together again.